For the longest time, obsessive thoughts, rumination, and negative thinking were so powerful in my life, so prevalent, and so completely crippling that it was actually pretty commonplace for me to start thinking about suicide because they were so anxiety provoking, they seemed endless, they seemed out of control, and I felt completely overwhelmed by them. That phase of my life lasted for a long time. I'm no longer living in that space, which leads a lot of people to ask me the question, do I still get them in general? Negative, painful, rumination. We're gonna talk about that in this video. What's going on guys, my name is Noah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really glad you are here. If you were here and dealing with depression, anxiety, rumination, pure O, OCD, I want you to know that it can get better, it will get better if you stay out of your own way, continue to reach out for support, learn, and have faith. A lot of people watch content like this when they're acutely suffering, and, and I know that space. It's, it's one of the reasons YouTube is so beautiful, right? Because we can reach out and find someone who might understand what we're going through, give us a little bit of hope, a little thread that we can hold on to until it becomes a rope, until suddenly we are all by ourselves stranded. So as someone who has battled with depression, anxiety, rumination, obsessive thoughts, all of these things to a very intense degree, and then largely overcome them in many ways, it's natural for a lot of my viewers, passive or consistent, to, to wonder if I deal with these things anymore or wonder that when they overcome or if they overcome, when they overcome, will it just be a thing of the past, obsessing, dealing with rumination, crippling thoughts, thoughts that make us question ourselves and who we are. Some people are surprised to hear me say that yes, I do still deal with rumination. I definitely still have pure O, OCD-like thought patterns. Basically, sometimes negative thinking, unwanted thoughts still come into my life. They still rattle me for a moment. They can still be a bit uncomfortable, but they 100% do not rule my life. And yes, they are far less frequent than they, well, far less frequent than they once were. There was a time when negative, painful thoughts and ruminations could come in out of nowhere, upset me and, and, and cripple me so bad that it could take weeks or months for it to get better. And I knew that. I knew that it might take a long time. I didn't have the tools, the confidence, the peace of mind, the wherewithal, the experience, or, or the guidance to, to think differently about it. And so what did I end up doing? I perpetuated a lot more painful rumination. And, and I was so in fear of it, constantly looking for it, trying not to think anything that would hurt my head, hurt my heart, hurt my identity, that they would just happen more. And I made a video that connected with a lot of people on this topic because I know a lot of people deal with this and, and it reached so many people. And the main principle of that video was that we can't control our thoughts, therefore we have no reason to take them personal. No one can control what they think. We can influence it, influence our thoughts with, with actions, behaviors, habits, rituals, things like that, which is great, which is a huge way I live my life. But I think it's really important for people to understand that just because you overcome acute depression, uh, acute painful rumination, negative thinking, that doesn't make you immune for, for the rest of time. It shouldn't be viewed that way. See, I think that one of the problems is we get into this like reactionary mindset when it comes to our obsessive thoughts, when it comes to anything really, and I fall into this too, anything that is hurting, hurting us, harming us, mood disorders, physical issues, whatever. So we, we really wanna react and make it better and we, we go crazy to fix it. And then once it's better, we kind of just let off the gas a little bit in this whole like fighting to be well. And so what the message for this video is, is don't be discouraged when you find out that I, perhaps if this affects you, if you find out that I still deal with depression, anxiety, I still deal with rumination, it's okay. Because I know how to deal with them. They don't rule me like they used to rule me and, and they be, they're far less intense and frequent because I have my tools, I have my rituals, I have my, my models that I follow, and they get me through them. That knowledge to me, that experience is absolute power. And I like to think because I, especially because I've adopted the ounce of prevention is worth the pound of cure model, and I'm just I'm bringing it into my life all the time. I'm mindful of it. I, I don't have to be afraid anymore. I really don't. I think having the expectation that you're gonna get rid of them and never deal with them again it leads to a lot of disappointment. It leads to a lot of resentment. And I think it can lead people to, to deal with these things in unhealthy ways, as opposed to take ownership of them, understand that it is something that can reoccur, but you know what to do about it. So the, the takeaway from this is that everyone deals with 
depression, anxiety. Everyone deals with obsessive rumination thoughts. Some people just learn how to work with them more effectively, and that is what you should empower yourself to do. So on days you're feeling bad, you're gonna lean on the structure. You're gonna lean on the practices, the self-care, all these other things that are gonna then guide you through the harder times when you're obsessing and ruminating in a really detrimental and painful way. I am you, you are me, we're all doing the best we can. Let me heat you up like this, okay? If I can heat you up with my experience with this stuff, good. And please heat me up in the comments below. By heat up, I mean I'm not afraid of obsessive thoughts. I'm not afraid of rumination. I know what to do about them. I know that I cannot control them. I know that my structure, my habits, my rituals, my, my life, the way I organize it and the way I live it, deeply impact it. And I'm starting to understand the, the cause and effect, how I eat, how I sleep, my social environment, all these things. They all play into the, the likelihood or the propensity to, to worry and obsess. Let me impart that on you. You know what I mean? Like take that, take that information, run with it. I'm someone who at one time went, I honestly felt like the better part of a year obsessing over a couple things that, that just made me question who I was and my reality and made me feel less than and inferior and not okay. And I haven't had anything take me over like that for longer than a day or two, sometimes forever. That's amazing. That's progress. So I am perfectly broken just like everybody else and I'm learning and these things do get better. I don't see anyone as, as completed, as perfect. I just see people a little further along on their journey of understanding and then, and then putting these understandings into practice. So I'm gonna link a really cool video I saw by Douglas Block on this topic, really, really good. I'm gonna link my own video that connected with a lot of you. It's one of my most popular videos on how I deal with uh, intrusive, painful thoughts and rumination. And I want you to know that it gets better, okay? It really, really does get better. So get out of your own way. You don't know what you don't know and try not to deal with, with uh, catastrophic thinking that, that puts a placehold on your entire future. Like I'll never get better. I'll never figure this out. This will never end. We don't think that way. We don't behave that way. We don't live that way. We stay in the perpetual now. We're like puppies in that way. We live here now. What can we affect here now? So I hope that is of some value to you. I appreciate you guys so much. I know these things are easier said than done. And I'm, I feel like I'm just an infant on this journey. I'm just a baby on this journey. Just starting to learn so many cool things that I'm excited to share with you. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Leave your comments below. Share your experience, uh, strength and hope. Share your struggle and your hardship. Let us comfort you. Let me comfort you. And we'll see you guys in the next video, all right? My name is Noah. Adios, brochachos and muchachos. Peace.